Several years ago, a ceramic tile muralist was commissioned to put together a series of scenes depicting buildings and events that took place in the city of Venetia. Those ceramic tiles were placed in the sidewalks on First Street, and I've uh, endeavored to take a little stroll through the past. Please enjoy. Sonia, Francisca, Maria, Felipe, Venetia, de Vallejo, Maestro, Mariano Vallejo, and after whom Venetia is named. This is Captain Walsh's house. One of the original prefabs built in the East Coast, right around the Horn, we assembled here in Venetia. The Solano ferry that transported cars and people from Venetia to Contra Costa County. Robert Semple, Thomas O'Larkin, original developers of Venetia, subdivided the land, sold it back east, the, had a vision of what this city might be. The Bella Union Saloon, underground establishment, uh, used to run beer from the brewery, and tunnels underneath. Side of the old fire station, just to commemorate that. Volunteers and that sort of thing. This commemorates the state capitol building, donated by Roger Heim, a colleague of mine. <coughs> and of course, the capitol building itself. state capital in the in 1800s for about a year or so so it moved to Sacramento of course Jennifer Holy Catholic Church St. Dominic's this is the Pacific Mail there are the Solano very tra trains across the strait before the Benicia Bridge was built Famous writer Jack London, wrote several books here in Venetia, in his old haunt, the old Lido Club. And the Community Congregational Church. There's the Community Congregational Church, located on West J Street. Currently an artist studio. Famous guardhouse in the Venetia Arsenal. Home to Ulysses S. Grant at one point when he was caught in a drunken state and uh, with a wife of an officer, or so the rumor goes. This tile depicts the Corbett-Chomsky fight. John and Jim Corbett fought a 15-round brawl on a barge in Southampton Bay, or what is now Southampton Bay. Uh, an epic battle. Young Lady of Seminary, one of the first seminaries of its kind on the West Coast. Venetia was truly a city of firsts. There's tiles in front of our own Cobalt Banker office, donated by Richard Bortolazzo. This depicts the Venetia Collegiate Institute. Um, again, the city of Venetia was considered the Athens of the West. Sister Dominica of Arguello Concepcion. This is a love story that spanned two cultures, Russians that came to visit, the Spanish that were here, uh, and uh, love unrequited. This, of course, depicts St. Paul's Episcopal Church, first Episcopal Church on the West Coast. The grounds, and of course, the building itself. Still stands. Venetia Boy, donated by International Technology. 
prize fighter back in the day. This monument is in front of our veterans hall. The tiles depicting World War One, World War II, Korean War, and the war in Vietnam. That's all's recently been remodeled, and we're getting ready for our, the grand opening in the near future. The tile commemorates the Commandant's house. This is the West Coast Arsenal for the United States government. This is where the Commandant of the Post lived. The first Masonic Temple in the West Coast is here in Benicia. This depicts that. Here's the Masonic Temple itself, still standing, maintained by the Masonic Order.